Hi, and welcome back to my shop. Let's just get this out of the way, first and foremost. I mean, honestly, be honest with me. Who wore this quarantine haircut better? Me, Lewis from Disney's Meet the Robinsons, or this guy? <laughs> yeah, hey, look, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're healthy. I hope everything's great with you and your families, and, and welcome back. Uh, on this project, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are going back again to my roots. We're working on another mug. I had a lot of fun making the mug with the resin, um, the resin applewood hybrid combo. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. It's on my channel. But this time, I decided to go a little quirky and see if I couldn't add more than one color resin to it to see what it was gonna look like. And if I'm gonna do that, we're going all in on Harry Potter. So I'm really excited about this mug. I'm really excited about the, the possibilities with this project. We're also gonna try this time, instead of hollowing the mug out incomplete on the lathe, we're gonna try my drill press. I've gotten a new drill press. It's a Laguna, it's a variable speed, and I'm wondering with the right Forstner bit, if I can't get 95% of the, out, the inside out of the mug, did that make sense, inside out? Not, I can't, nine, mm, huh. 90% of the inside of the mug cord on a drill press, which is far more comfortable from a working perspective and easier on the tools, then get it on the lathe, finish it out and get it done. If you enjoyed this video and you like my channel, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button and ring that little bell. That way you know when I start new videos. Oh, and if you're interested in purchasing one of my mugs, send me an email. I now have an email, scott at thecraftywiener.com. Thanks for coming by, let's get started. I'm pretty confident that we're going to have to re-pour the bottom of the mug. I've never used black resin before and yellow and I thought I could do a 50-50 and I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like. I'm really happy with the swirly pattern that appears to be happening for the top. I'm pretty confident though the bottom is just going to be jet black. That doesn't mean we're not going to use it. Let's uh, get it out of the pot in a couple hours and see how it goes. But yeah, we're probably gonna end up pouring that again, but it's okay.
Yes, yes, and yes. I'm really excited about how this came out. I think one of the coolest things about this is that, that's probably really weird in the camera, isn't it? But check that out. That translucent, um, being able to see straight through, that, that is just, yes. We went with Flaming Box Elder because it's magical. Um, and we did yellow and black Illumilite. Um, we threw in some bling, threw in some glitter dust in there because again, um, when you cast a spell, phew, the handle is African Blackwood um, and Yellow Heart, and it's coated with my favorite FDA approved epoxy stone coat countertop, so it's good for hot and cold drinks. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, and we added the dragon to the bottom. I guess that's the one thing where I had some sort of a problem here. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but you know what? It looks like a smoke ring. I'm thinking we're gonna do all four Harry Potter houses. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel um, and make sure you share it, right? Because I'm getting ready to come out with some more videos. I'm trying to get one every two to three weeks. Um, and follow me now on Instagram at The Crafty Wiener. Um, and you can follow me on Facebook as well at The Crafty Wiener. So I'm, I'm really bantering now. So it's time for me to go. Thanks for coming by. Just stay safe, stay healthy. Get in your shop, make something beautiful, and yeah, um, make sure you wash your hands. See you next time.